going to be making stuffing meatloaf. I saw this on the Baking Diva. Dolores made this. What you're going to need is one to one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, which is, I got 90-10. Then you're going to need one packet of dry onion mix. Now, I made my own dry onion mix, and I will put that video at the end of the vi this video so you can know how to make your own. That will be six teaspoons of the homemade onion soup mix. And then you're going to need one packet of stove top stuffing. Any stove top stuffing that you want. But let's put two eggs in there two eggs beaten in there first and then put the stuffing in there and then add one cup of warm water in there and you're going to have to get your hands in there and mix all of this in there together make sure your hands are clean Mix it all in there until it's all mixed good. We're not going to add salt to this because this um, onion soup mix has some salt. And then the stove top stuffing has salt. Plus, I'm going to put some of my homemade beef gravy on top of this too and that has salt. And I'll put the link to that video too at the end. Now you're going to take a pre-sprayed pan. You can use a loaf pan if you want. I like to use my baking dish to make meatloaf. Now I'm going to set that in there like that. And this can be frozen too if you don't want to eat it all or you can make two loaves like half in and half and make two loaves and you can freeze the other loaf. I'm going to put this in the oven that's 350 degrees for, I'm going to check it at 40 minutes and see if it's done. At 165 degrees Fahrenheit, I think, on the meat thermometer. I'll check it and see if it's done at 40 minutes. Now, Dolores put hers in a bunt pan and she sprayed it. I will put the link to her video in the description. But I'm making mine like this. The meatloaf is done and I poured my homemade gravy over the top the last 20 minutes of cooking. It took an hour for it to get done. Cut into it and that's what it looks like inside. Put it on the plate. Let me try it for you. Mmm. That is so good. And that gravy that I make is really good too. The beef gravy. And I will put that recipe at the end and the um, 
my homemade onion soup mix. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.